This video is going to show a problem that I'm currently running into with the Epic Games launcher. Around 2 p.m. this morning, as you can see, it's now almost 11, October 28th. Uh, I did an update. When I turned on the Epic Games launcher, I did an update to it, and I had to restart it. When I restarted it, uh, I found it started throwing an error that I could not connect to it. So this video is going to show what's going on and why currently playing or streaming any game over Epic Games is not going to be an option until this is resolved. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to attempt to log into my account. Now note that I did cut out the entry and clicking on the login button on that section so you won't see my login details but this is what happens when I try to log in now sometimes I'll get a captcha sometimes I'll get uh, where I have to enter my authentication key but it always comes to this error regardless of how many times I try to log in I'll always come back to this error now, I've tried a few things to try and resolve this. The first one being was that I went to the Epic Games website and I downloaded the most recent installer. This didn't work because what it essentially did was it reinstalled the latest version which is what you are seeing right here. I mean basically it's a guaranteed error that where it cannot connect to their servers. The second thing I attempted to do was to uninstall the installed version I had rather than installing over and then reinstalling to a new drive. Now in both of these cases I got the same result uh, which was after you install it, it tries to download any updates before it allows you to attempt to log in. Now unfortunately, because of this version of the launcher, it couldn't connect. I just got a, an error that specifically said uh, couldn't connect, but they'll continue trying. The problem is I left that running for hours and it never got past that point. So eventually I gave up on that and what I decided to do was I was publishing another article on my personal site about this situation. Before I get into what I published, um, while I was writing that new article uh, you may have noticed earlier I've got an older installer here. This installer happens to be the one that I downloaded two years ago when I had a similar problem where I could not get in game. The Fortnite launcher executable, what it would do would crash immediately after I clicked on the launch button in the launcher. So the date shows the date that I started basically troubleshooting that issue. So anyways, because I never deleted and I still had the backup, I decided to give installing this one a try. Um, when I attempted to install it, it said I had a newer version installed. So basically I had to uninstall again just to reinstall the older version. After installing the launcher from the older installer, I was able to see that it at least connected to servers, where it did two sets of updates. Unfortunately, after it did the updates, we're back to this problem again. So, at this point, this version appears to be unable to connect to their servicers which is one 
zero dot one nine dot two dash one four five nine eight two nine five. This version, at least on my system, is not able to connect to their servers. So what you are seeing right here is why currently uh, I cannot play any game on my uh, Epic Games account. I cannot stream any game from my Epic Games account. Uh, as far as I can tell, it looks like I probably can't even make a new account. Which would be pointless in the case of Fortnite anyways, because I play Save the World. I'm not going to start over and I'm not going to purchase it again. Especially if I can't even get into the launcher. But this right now also shows why it would be pointless for me to purchase anything over their store even during their sale because I can't access them. Additionally I've determined that while this continues to be an issue I will not be purchasing anything further from them on any platform. And additionally, that also includes any games from any other developers or publishers that is using their engine, the Unreal Engine. So, hopefully they can get this fixed quickly. The bigger problem is the fact that I was working on getting the new Outlander. Her name is Clip. You will see her when you go to your armory and save the world. She is one of the few things I do not have in this game. Uh, the only other things I do not have in this game would be from the Art Deco set which as far as I'm concerned is not even an event set, it's more of a paywall set. So in that case it doesn't matter too much to me. But this one does. And if I don't get her before the end of the event, then even if they do get the connection issue resolved, I do not intend on ending my boycott. Uh, when it is regarding new purchases from Epic Games. There is still the possibility that I might be able to get her during the next birthday event. However, in the game's current state where you don't even have a proper means of reporting, meaning there's no text entry uh, when you report a player or a bug, so this renders the reporting function near useless. I don't expect there will be another birthday event. I suspect that the game will probably be shut down before we see another yearly event in Save the World. But if there is one and I manage to get her on the birthday event, I'm still not going to purchase anything further from Epic Games or developed with technology from Epic Games until I have her. So that could be an additional half a year before I'm willing to purchase from Epic Games again. Anyways, this video has shown its purpose. It's to show the issue that is currently a part of their launcher. Uh, as of the last update. There is one other thing I'm going to show here and that is that you can still access the store but you will not be able to access or play your games in this current condition. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the sign in later link and this uh, we'll bring you into here. I had, prior to uninstalling it, my library as being my favorite. So this is the one that it would open to 
when I logged in. Unfortunately, here you can see there are no games installed. Why? Well, the reason being is I had five or six installed here, but you remember I uninstalled and installed to a new drive. So, the games I had here prior, I'm going to have to re-download them once Epic Games is able to get this issue fixed. And again, I'm going to have to point out that is if it gets fixed. The store does still work correctly if I were to go to the store page. But considering, you know, even if I have them on my account, I can't even run them. When I did have it before and I did this um, before uninstalling, I could see the games here, but there was a sign-in option. So I couldn't even run the single player games in this way. So this doesn't even have a proper offline mode to where I can run offline games even if they were still installed. In any case this is the current condition of it and the current reason why I'm going to be avoiding anything Epic Games until it's resolved. There's no point in purchasing anything over a platform where you cannot access what you have legally purchased. So if you see this Epic Games, please try to get this fixed and don't ignore it.